than 100 days in Roblox Brookhaven. That is equivalent to roughly 40 hours real time, which means this video was really hard to make. And trust me, a lot of crazy things end up happening when you play for that long. So please hit the subscribe button and the like button to help me break the YouTube algorithm. Enjoy the video. Ow! That's right, loser! You don't belong here! Hey! Break it up, girls! But sir, it, it wasn't me! You gotta listen to me, Principal Rami! It was him again! You're causing trouble again, Kelly! That was the last straw! You're expelled! Not again! This time you have gone too far! Now you are going to live with Grandpa, Grandpa Joe. Joe! What? Not Grandpa Joe! But he lives in Brookhaven! There's literally nothing there! In fact, your taxi should be here any second! In fact, the taxi has just arrived! What? What are you talking about? Uh-oh! This isn't a joke this time? You're really gonna send me away to live with Grandpa Joe? Oh no! <laughs> This is bad! <laughs> Guys, I really must have messed up this time. They are sending me all the way to Brookhaven. Okay, well, Mom and Dad, I'm gonna miss you. Good luck. Hopefully, you'll behave a bit better. <laughs> See you later. The say hi, buddy. To the airport, please. Okay, now that was the bumpiest ride ever. <laughs> And now it looks like I'm going to start my brand new life in Brookhaven. What? Welcome to Brookhaven. I hope your flight was good. Why, thank you for asking. <laughs> my flight was amazing. <laughs> well, you were the sixth person to ever visit here. So, what? Six? Oh, this town is going to be even deader than I thought. Okay, here we go. Looks like I managed to get through with no weapons except these guns. That's right. Well, now I guess we need to go and find Uncle Joe. And he's probably going to be pretty hard to find. Oh, my goodness. Is that my grandson? Seriously, <laughs> Grandpa Joe, did you have to bring the sign? Your mother has told me you were having some problems. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my last time was full of bullies. And I don't like bullies. Well, don't worry. Brookhaven has a population of only 25 people. No bullies here. No bullies here? There's literally nobody here. Okay, my dear boy. Come with me. I'll show you where you will be staying. Okay, let's go then, Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Maybe this isn't going to be too bad after all. Wow. That is an odd-looking car. Anyways, let's hop inside of this. Let's go check out Grandpa Joe's pack. This is it. Wow. Grandpa Joe, you've done pretty well for yourself. Not bad for an old man, right? No, Grandpa Joe, this actually looks really nice. Hello, Mr. Rami. Mr. Rami? Huh? Oh, this guy. Are you new here? Yes, I am new. And I really like the color of your house, Mr. Rami. <laughs> Orange is a good color. This is Calixo, my sweet grandson. He is very short, but don't tell him I said that. Hey, I can literally hear everything you said, you big bully, you big old meanie. Enjoy your time here in town. Okay, well, uh, nice to meet you, a squid man. Sorry, this isn't really nice. Okay, well, let me show you the place. Okay, then, grab. But Joel, let's check out this pad. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Wow. <laughs> it's really nice. And I'm guessing this is the front room or lounge with a crumpet and tea. Uh, and what about up here? Mm, we have a bathroom. This is the bathroom. Wow, super nice. Looks like it was just decorated too. Wait, where did he go? And this is where you will be staying. Wait, what? You mean I get this giant room to myself with an oh, sweet balcony! But this is like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... <gasps> oh, this is like 10 feet long! Balcony doors! <laughs> we must check for spiders! No spiders on the balcony today! You're really weird! Well, <laughs> thanks, Grandpa Joe. I think we're going to get on like a house on fire! I can't take this anymore! Do this! Do that! Go to sleep! Eat your veggies! I don't want to eat my ruggly! And I can't believe how badly behaved you are! You never listen! I'm gonna call your parents right away if you don't stop! You know what, Grandpa Joe? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I wish you would! What? That's right! I don't like you! How 
Could you say that? That's right, Grandpa! I'm running away! And I'm never coming back! <laughs> Why doesn't he ever listen to me? This place is like a prison. Huh? Who is that girl up there? She's so dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> and way cooler than all the other weird girls around town. Hello, handsome math man! I think I just fell in love! Wait, what? We are soulmates! Born to be together forever! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Run! <laughs> She's a flipping weirdo! What the heck? <sighs> Guys, I feel really bad for what I said to my grandpa Joe. That's right, he didn't deserve to be shouted out like that. He's been so nice to me. And I've been a total mean little kid. You know what? I'm gonna go back right now and apologize for everything I did. I should not have spoken to him like that. Who do I even think I am? Wait, why is there an ambulance here? Uh, excuse me, sir. What is going on here? Hey, you know the guy who lives here? Uh, yes, of course I do. It's my grandpa. His heart don't exist is so working. Lol. Wait, his heart? Please tell me this is some sort of prank. I, I can't lose my grandpa. He's all I have. Then you better get to the hospital quick. I can give you a ride. No need, sir. I have legs that are biggest. Oh, Grandpa Joe, I'm a coming. Wait, this is real? He's actually gone? Grandpa Joe, Grandpa Joe, are you there? I'm sorry, kid. I did as much as I could. He is oofed. But the guys... All my fault. If I'd never shouted at him, it wouldn't have caused him so much stress to give him a heart attack. Excuse me, Dr. Rami. Yes? Do you mind if I have a moment with him? I'd like to say my final goodbye. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Rami. Grandpa Joe, we didn't know each other for a very long time, but in the time that we did get to know each other, I had a really cool time. Like the time you showed me the balcony. Remember the dance we did? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, it was just me doing that dance. But, but still, you were there. Either way, Grandpa Joe, I'm gonna make you proud one day. You mock my words. I'm oh, biggest. Saddest day ever. Any last words? Too bad. <laughs> wow, you didn't have to throw him in like that. Grandpa Joe, I know you said, okay, Grandpa Joe, I just wanted to say again that I'm really sorry that I didn't try harder. I think you and I could have really got on. <laughs> or like you said, a house on fire. Oh my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. My grandpa's house. It is literally on fire. What happened here? Uh, yep. He just sprayed that in my mouth. How sweat build and fire. Cause turkey in oven. What? And now I'm going to be homeless. Are you kidding me? That's right, guys. I have no house, no money, and no vehicle. I don't even have enough money to get back to my hometown. So I guess I'm starting from scratch. Well, I saw that Brooks Diner was hiring, so this is probably a good place to start. That's right. So here we go. Let's do a quick smell check. Yeah, <laughs> delicious. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm super nervous, but I think I've got this. Hello there, madam. Nice to meet you. Hi, mate. Welcome to the diner. I eat spaghetti with my hands. It's way more efficient. Uh, this place seems really weird. Uh, anyways, I saw that you had a job offer online, and I would like to apply for that job. You're hired. Oh, thank you kindly. Stand at the drive-thru. Serve me customers. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. Uh, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so I guess I just wait here for a customer to turn up, and then I serve them. Oh, we have a customer. Remy Dino. Oh, that's my neighbor. Okay, this one should be easy. Wow, nice guy, Mr. Remy Dino. I'm just gonna grab your donut for you right now. Okay, it says a donut, so here we go. There you go, Remy. Enjoy the donut. Thank you. Didn't have to pay you, epic. Oh, jeez, yeah. I forgot I was supposed to take money. Wow, maybe I am pretty good at this, guys. I'll be at the drive-thru. I'll be serving good food. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, your next job is to serve that really, really hot coffee over there to the customer in the corner. Okay, okay, no problem. It's just, it, it just looks really hot. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. This is so hot. I am literally burning my fingertips right now. Oh, Oh! Uh oh. I just bought that customer and they oof! And Mrs. Brooks, I, I am so sorry. It was just an accident. <laughs> Accidents happen, right? Sorry, love. You're fired. Okay, well, that's understandable. 
Have a nice day, Mrs. Brooks. Ah, seriously? This day couldn't get any worse. Huh? What is going on over here? What? They just had a huge car crash. Oh my goodness. Ruh-ro, what do we do? We have too much money. The popo are coming. We have to hide it. Wait, what? They stole all that money from the bank? Are you serious? Oh, the police is gonna get them. Police get them. They're there. They're running away. Wait, she's chasing them on a scooter. Are you kidding me? That was a pretty neat trick, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, no one's looking. Wait a minute, guys. Whilst no one's looking, maybe I could just, uh, you know, just quickly... <gasps> oh my goodness! I'm rich! I'm literally rich! Are you kidding me? There must be, like, enough money in here to buy a house! So here it is, sir! What do you think? Uh, <laughs> well, this is all I can afford. The houses sure are expensive here in Brookhaven. Well, do you want it? I need a place to stay. I've been homeless for like a whole week. You know what, sir? I'm gonna take it. Great! What method of payment would you like to use? Uh, how about cash? <laughs> Whoa! Yes, please! That was really, really weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's check this place out. This is nothing like my Grandpa Joe's place, but it's a humble start, guys, which means we can only go up from here. Okay, guys, we gotta think. Think, Kelly, think. I may have a place to live now, but I have no money. That's right, and because this town is so tiny, there's literally no jobs. Ah, uh, what am I gonna do? I just need a way to make money. Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? That looks like a lawnmower to me. And it works! Ladies and gentlemen, I think I just found a way to make money. That's right! Let's go and mow people's gardens! Excuse me, Robbie! Can I mow your garden, please? What a nice day! What did you see there, neighbor? I said, can I mow your garden, please, for a very cheap price of $10? Make it $9.99. Deal! Okay, Remy, I've done your lawn, but, uh... Did you really have to sit on it the whole time? Excuse me, random neighbor! Can I please mow your garden for $10? Sure! Thanks, sir! There we go, sir! All finished! Again, why do people keep sitting on the mowers? Sir! Mow! Garden! $10! Make that $250! Oh, okay. This is the easiest money I've ever made! That's right, here we go! Almost finished? Wait a minute. It looks like we have competition. Hey! You! This is my turf! You don't want to have a more battle with me, punk. You are getting off my turf. And stay out, punk! <laughs> Flipping Randy. Okay, Mr. Ram Ram, you said that you had a car for sale? Howdy, neighbor! I'm a little bit confused because the listing said the car was pretty cheap for what it is. I have the most savage cars ever. Wanna take a peek? Follow me. Wow, it actually is, and you already put my name on it? Now, did I read the listing wrong? It said $250. You did read it wrong. Oh, no, are you kidding me? It's gonna be so much more. It's actually $249. In that case, Mr. Rabbi, sold. Okay, let's get in this bad boy. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. This is so nice. Check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna look good in this. Oh, drama. You're always causing me problems. I can't stay here anymore. This house is like a prison. Whoa. Don't disobey me. Wow, that guy is always so mean to her. I'm gonna go talk to her and find out what's wrong. Finally, I managed to catch up with her. Why me? Hey, uh, excuse me. Girl who lives across the road from me. Uh, hello. What happened, Elia? Are you okay? My dad treats me horrible. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I kind of noticed. I'm so sad all the time. I can't live here anymore. It feels like a prison. Okay, well, listen. I can make you an offer. Maybe you can come and stay at my place. Yeah, I have, like, a spare sofa you can sleep on or something. At least you'll be out the house. No! My dad will kill me! Leave me alone! Wait, what? But I was just trying to help. That sucks so bad. Oh, no. Hello, handsome masked man! Not you again! I am looking for love! Yeah, you're not gonna find it here. You might find it over there, though. Yeah, that way. <laughs> Get me the heck out of here! Ah! Oh. 
I can't do this anymore. I can't just sit here and watch whilst this man disrespects his daughter that badly. Not after how I treated my grandpa. Right, that's it. I'm gonna confront him. Oh, he has a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Ah, uh, would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? They're really delicious and tasty. I'm not in a good mood. Uh, okay, well, never mind, sir. Actually, my boss is calling me. Oh, jeez, guys. This is bad. I'm that this crazy. Ooh. Okay, well, maybe I can go and talk to her. I mean, I know she works at the grocery store. Maybe I can talk some sense into her and get her to leave that place. Maybe we could run away together. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, sir, but, but the shop is actually closed. Oh, I didn't actually come in here to buy anything. Wait, you didn't? But this is grocery store. No, I, uh, I actually came here for you. For me? B but why? I already told you I can't. No, listen, we can make this work. You have to get out of the house with your crazy dad. We can't. You have to believe me. You see, <laughs> the thing is, I may be insane, but I have to tell you how I really feel. I think I'm in love with you. Okay. Wait, what? You are? Yes, I think I am. Huh? Hello, handsome mass man. Thank you for the song. I have wedding dress ready for marriage. Let's get married right now. Ah, uh, yeah, you see about that. Uh, random girl. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Should I let me just hide here? Handsome mass man, where did you go? Jeez, guys, that was a close call. Okay, guys, well, anyway. Wait, he's gonna hit by the car. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Your your child almost got hit by a car! Thank you, kind sir! Dada! How could I ever repay you? Uh, don't worry about it. It was just lucky I was there, right? The mayor has to hear about such a good deed. Maybe you should introduce me to him. Let's go to the mayor's office. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I guess I'm going to the mayor's office, guys. Uh, wait a minute. So you're telling me that Rami Dino is the mayor? Isn't Rami Dino like everything in this town? Is it true, sir? Yes! He's a hero! Are you a local hero? I don't know about a hero, sir. I was just doing my job. Like any good old sub lost abiding citizen would do. If you're such a hero, fight me to the death! Wait, wait, what? What is going on? Is this a trap? He has an axe! Wait, Rami, look! This looks like your head! <laughs> he just, uh... He just... He just oofed. Well, luckily, I'm actually a multi-millionaire. And for saving my son, I want to give you something special. Oh, wait, you do? Whoa, that is a lot of money. Are you sure? This is so much money. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, I'm going to use this money to buy something insane. This right, guys. I just bought Mountain House. Mountain House. Mountain House. This right. And this time, I'm going to look after this one. I just wish that I got to share it with Grandpa Joe. You know what? I think I should go and pay respects to him. Hey, Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Long time no see. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But but things are going good now. I kind of met a girl that I really like. And I have a house on the mountain hill. But uh, anyways, there's two things I need to do. One is... I'm gonna go and save that girl. And number two is cook myself some delicious food. That's right. Anyway, Grandpa Joe, this is probably the last time we're gonna see each other for a while. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, luckily you're in the right place, buddy. That's right. Here I am to save you. Wait, where did the house go? Ah, excuse me, random stranger! Can you please tell me where that house is gone? They moved to the other side of Brookhaven? Oh, that house? Yeah, that one right there! No, they moved planets! Wait, you're telling me they moved away? Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad! You mean she moved away with her dad? But she didn't say anything. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go home. That's right, guys! Home! Sweet! Home. Wait, wait, what? My house! It's on fire! What happened? 
Seriously? You know what, guys? I have nothing here anymore. My grandpa died. M my house is burned down. And she left. You know what? I'm gonna taste the last little bit of money I have. And I'm going back to live with my parents. That's right. Brookhaven, goodbye. <sighs> That's right, Brookhaven. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Anyways, here we go. I said my final goodbyes. Here we go. Hey, you! Yes, I know. Post, please. Wait, what? I, th I think you mean tickets, please. Here's my ticket. There we go. Take my ticket. Thank you, sir. Here we go. I'm going through. <sighs> Goodbye. Okay, well, guys, I guess I should give Brookhaven one final goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Brookhaven. And now, back to my normal life. Huh? Wait! Callie! I came back! Wait! You did? I did! But, but wait, where's your dad? I changed my mind! He was too horrible! Yes! He was a big meanie! A big old bully! Plus, I heard you have Mountain House now! Oh, uh, yeah. About that. It kind of burned down. So yeah, we're homeless. <laughs> Bye! Wait, what? Are, are you kidding me? Wait, I, I'm coming with you! You gotta be kidding me! Uh, wait. Grandpa? Joe? Hey, Callie! Welcome to heaven! Wait, what are you talking about? Don't you remember? Remember what? I literally just got on this plane with this girl? You never saved that child! You got hit by that car! Wait, what? You're kidding me! Dum dum! And now I'm stuck with Mayor Rami and my uncle Joe. Are you kidding me? Ram Dino! Rami, 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 that's right, Uncle Joe. I, I... Clued! Get out here with why you go. No, you don't. Have, I'm at a funeral. <laughs> or like you said, a house on fire. Just like you said. 